Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough where, if you remember from last time, we've just finished the Battle of Siege for Dargonus. We've uh, just saved the place, and yeah, we are back off to our ship, I guess. Uh, oh, a few things we haven't looted. Let's uh, just, just, just pack them as cargo, and let's leave the location. So... Obviously, we have various other things to do now. We've got to... Well, we'll see what happens. We've also got to meet the um, representatives of the uh, of House Orselli over Navigators as well. Ah, welcome back, Lord Captain. During your absence, we assisted the ground forces by coordinating movements from orbit. Detailed casualty and damage reports have been submitted for your perusal. It is with deepest awe that I inform you that the timely invention... Uh, that the timely intervention... Of the res and the resistance of the world's defenders managed to break the back of a raid, which had threatened to turn into a protracted war. Dargonus suffered losses, but the Hive <clears throat> has su sufficient capacity to restore the administrative networks. The industries and industries as expeditiously as possible. The world remains intact, despite the insidious blow dealt by the Xenos. I have been given Scalander's reports uh, uh, that he failed uh, that he failed to deliver in time. They indicate the Xeno activity dropped sharply after you left further Cinerus Maleficium. Considering the scale of the Darkness Reign, it is self to assume that the Dakari used all of the forces at their disposal and may now require some time to replenish from the losses. Without Achilles, we are blind to the scheming of the enemies of humanity, but our strategists are still hoping for Lullen attacks, which will allow us to gather our strength for a new conflict. That's weird, he's acting like he's dead, but he didn't. I think he can die there, though, if you select different options. Uh, Lord Captain, the Astropathic Choir received a message from Targonus. The noble houses expressed their gratitude for the restoration of trade routes between the remaining Von Valencius planets and express their deepest condolences for the loss of the worlds that did not survive the dark times. In addition, Governor Drivestream has sent me a private message, your ladyship. I humbly ask the road trader for an audience so I may deliver it. So, back to the planet, basically. <clears throat> oh, and actually, we have two missions to do here, don't we? Because... We, we need Jay on this one, yep. Because we've got, we finished off the, um, her side quest. Sorry, I, I keep musing. I've got a bit of a bug in my throat at the moment. I'm a bit of a scratching throat, so I keep coughing. So apologize if, apologies if you do catch me coughing. Should have grabbed myself a drink before I started. Right, while we're here, let's do a bit of quick leveling up. Trading is just like art. It takes skill and talent. Yeah, can't die is always useful. Uh, it will not die, giving her more HP. Commerce, of course. Persuasion seems to fit her character nicely. Uh, let's give her defensive stance. There we go. So just blitzing her levels up again. I'm probably by no means doing the meta for my characters, guys. I'm not that sort of person. And I'm not going to distract from play to mess around with... Bits and pieces, guys. <clears throat> right. Master of Seals. I thought I had both of them. I... Some choose wealth, 
Others prefer power. Okay, I thought I'd picky. I'll take both. Okay, maybe I've got to have a chat with Jay on the ship about it. Uh, or maybe I've got to chat to the Wizards. Wizards. <clears throat> I'm confused. Because I've definitely found a seal. Because we found the one, or we got the one done on Thingamy, on, on Janus. <clears throat> ah. Uh, Lord Captain, permission to report. Your wise lesson can stand less the state of the protectorate. I believe that thanks to your decisions and actions, the acute phase of the crisis has passed. The Dominion of Unvalencia's dynasty is no longer facing dissolution and ruin. In honour of such a resounding triumph, Darganus, as the capital world of your dynasty's domain, is currently making preparations for a Magni Exisio, a grand ceremony in the public to have the heir of the Honourable Valentinus. Yeah. Why do I need it? Uh, it's an ancient tradition. Uh, when the rogue trader ascends, uh, when the heir ascends to the rogue trader status, they take a sacred oath of fealty to the Emperor and announce themselves as his steward on the dynasty's vassal worlds. Okay. In the eyes of your subjects, you are already the rogue trader. It is now time to become one in the eyes of the Emperor. Uh, that much is certain. Uh, but that is not all there is. There will be a reception, as well as other noble guests. Uh, the distinguished rogue trader Caligos Winterscale and Incendiary Chorda will be there in attendance. It will be a great honour. Okay. Let the poor be fed. The second matter then on your servants' minds is which of your two closest companions will uh, have the honour of standing by you? Um, Ab Abelard, of course. Um, the servant of von House von Valencius will see his con continue dynasty. And let's have Yilrit. Ah, to appear before the people in the comp company of a Xenos? A provocative, provocative and an intriguing move. It is the kind of behaviour people expect to see from a world rogue trader. It's a bit of a in-my-face, a look at me, I can do things. I will see that the instructions are delivered. Does your ladyship wish to depart from the palace immediately? Uh, it means it remains some unfinished business. <clears throat> Uh. Okay. Nope. Nothing extra. Okay, I thought I'd found it. That's that confuses me. Oh well, I guess we are making landfall. It could be, guys, we are in beta. It could be that we've had a bug. Um, there are other ways we can potentially get that, so... Let's make landfall. <clears throat> there we go. Maybe I should have brought Jay with me for the uh, talking about the seals, but never mind. I, while I do love having lots of companions, does anybody else find that you always gen en generally end up with a, 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 a standard co party composition? You know, your go-to characters, which you just generally always use? Let me know down in the comments, or do you continually change them? Okay. Well, uh, they've managed to tidy up fairly quickly.
glory to the rogue trader! Walking along, just being shouted at by my people. It's just a little weird. Hmm. Nobody hiding in my bed this time to try and escape everything like last time. Hmm. Ah, there she is. I need to set for this. Uh, could it be that you found the lost seal? Uh, yep, yeah, give him the word scale. This is, without a doubt, the Administratum seal from which scales reign. Realm. But why is the original... Why is it the original to copy? Ah, I think I understand. Well, the laws of, Impor of the Imperium do not prohibit the heirs of other houses from using... This the seal from in times of need. I will order the servants of a machine cult to create a duplicate so to avoid such an embarrassing predicament in the future. Uh, I must take my leave. There we go. I don't think I will break it by doing the... Um, the ascension stuff now we'll get that done and then we'll finish these off because obviously we've also got to chat with the um, navigators uh, let us begin <clears throat> our Corin uh, ascension Rejoice, Von Valencia subjects. In honor of her ascension, the rogue J trader has gener generously shows her favor. In her unfathomable benevolence, the rogue trader has decreed that every soul should be given a day's rations and a personal fuel cell. Oh, wow, such a little thing. I mean, it's kind of a, above a hive. Okay. Maybe. Or maybe I have to choose another option so it doesn't break? Ah, there we go. There we go. The people have been fed. Are all the aristocrats? The crowd below is roiling with their electrified exhilaration. Rejoice, subjects! You have been granted the f the s felicity of witnessing uh, your mistress. A great honour bestowed upon us by rogue trader Jet von Valencius. Gracious saviour of Dargalus and vanquisher of the blasphemous inhumans. May their unholy kind perish in the flames of righteousness. Excruciator of heretics who eradicated the corruption of the arch enemy on and cleansed Janus. Gracious protector of footfall, patron of trade. I do think I've got enough titles. Uh, praise the Emperor! Uh, fear not the coming day, henceforth. You are all my charges. Uh, the commoners of nobility look upon you with adoration, and upon horror and curiosity, the sight of Zeno standing at attention by your side strikes into their hearts. Hmph. Adequate. Darkness has not disappointed. You remember the next part, yes, your ladyship? Let the oath of the Von Valencius dynasty be taken. Please repeat after me, your ladyship. I, a rogue trader, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
unbroken by adversity, continue to walk bravely into the darkness and unite and reclaim what was lost. To triumph over nightmares untold, to hold boldly to the reins of fate, to walk steadily, I imagine this is quite long. You hear a rumble. It is a roar of your sea of subjects with jubilation and devout fear. Should have given me the option just to say, you say it for me. I can't be bothered. I suspect if I'd gone hereticus a lot, I might have got that sort of option. Okay. So talk to the other rogue traders. Oh, is this a, uh, a, a statue of what we just did? Long live for Rogue Trader. Uh, the Governor Uber drivers who stands by the highborn guests of the planet. Uh, okay. Smile graciously. I welcome you to my palace, honored guests. Uh, you are buffeted by a salvo of congratulations. Uh, nod at the Inquisitor. Yep. And my greetings to you, Jet, um, esteemed Jet von Valesius. May the shadows never darken the light of the Astronomicon that guides you. Glory to the von Valesius. Uh, sorry. Brass Whisper of the Inquisitor's Companion and Crimson Road Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, okay. Study the Inquisitor's Companion. Uh, the Lord Inquisitor's relaxed expression radiates an odd sense of menace. Uh... An unexpected visit. I wasn't told. I, however, have been told all about you. Mm. Oh, you've not been introduced. An oversight, I'm sure. My name is Xavier Calcazar. I have the honour of a suburb s serving as a member of the most illustrious Order Zenos, the head of the Kronos Expanse Conclave, and Lord Inquisitor of this region. It is my unending task to ensure the sector's readiness to meet extraterrestrial threats. And who is the uh, most honourable br member of the Brotherhood? Uh, this is Brass Whisperer, which naturally is not his real name. The esteemed Magus is a member of my retinue. There are times when I am forced by my duty to the Emperor to deal with Xeno technology, and Brass Whisperer ensures safety in such moments. Works that have been desecrated by Xenos are dangerous. They warrant. His whispering is cut off. Warrant due cautious. Enjoy the party. Okay, let's go inside. So that's interesting because last time I was fairly sure I was meant to find uh, a tech priest to talk to. Nothing in here as of yet. Ah. <clears throat> Chet, there you are. Welcome to the circle where each member is as powerful, ambitious, greedy, and vain as the last. That is to say, the noble rogue traders. I, I like him. I like him already. He he's being quite clear and honest. Chorda. Uh, yes. You have found yourself suitable company. Kalagos, at the very least. Now you can enjoy idle diversions, boasts about your power, and indulge in profane pastimes with one who is your equal, rather than a member for lower classes. Uh, I welcome you to my domain. Uh, honoured guests. My, what hospitality. Come to think of it, why would I expect anything diff different from the air of a glorious Theodora? 
If you and Sandra were to pay me a visit, I wouldn't waste time on warm greetings either. No, I would promptly arm myself with a flamer before your self-righteous parasites could infest my entire palace. Thank you for your visit, Caligos. I should be thanking you. I was almost certain that you would use my difficulties on footfall as a means to bring that devious weasel Vladman to heel and take the station for your own. It's what any rogue trader would have done, but you proved yourself less predictable than that. Well then, since you have turned out to, to be a pleasant surprise, I stopped Sendra from snap and stopped Incendra from snatching my possession, I will compensate you for your efforts. I have a nice little world that I conquered that I can never seem to get around to. I'll throw it in along with a more substantial, the more substantial gift I have brought. Thwarting Incendra Chorter's ambitions deserves a worthy trophy. He snaps his fingers and an armoured brute hands you an extraordinarily adored, uh, an adorned rifle, clearly not of human re making. I remember this, it's quite a crappy uh, Eldari sniper rifle. It's a trophy from a good hunt. You and I should hunt together sometimes. Uh, so you can show yourself in action. New blood. Uh, thank you for such a wonderful guest. Kill someone important with it. Y Incendra, you seem to find me objectionable. Did you expect different? I watched for years as outlaws thrived on footfall. At long last, I had a chance to put an end to it. To seize the flag, vl flag Vladim, Vladim by the throat. Force footfall to atone and put fear, a fear of him back into the masses. But you interfered and destroyed my plan for the sake of banal profit. I didn't make any profit from it. Theodora taught you only too well, it seems. She was far less concerned with her duty to the expanse than her, o uh, than her own personal interests. But you can be sure uh, that I will not cease cleansing the fervent system of the pirate scourge. Okay. Uh, Hieronymus Dol Dolosoro. None are without fault, noble Incendra. What is the point of targeting someone for their turpitude when true purity can never be found? You threaten to starve footfall into salvation. So which of us serves the Emperor? Please. It will be no sooner than hearing were hearing word that half the population of the Den of Heresy has been sent to the Void's embrace. I have faith that the Blessed Jet is perceptive enough to see the appalling nature of, rel re na of the residents of that deprived place. Uh, I thank you for my visit. Your visit? It will not be a long one, I assure you. Enjoy your evening, I must take my leave. Oh, believe me, I intend to enjoy myself to the full, to justify such a long voyage, if nothing else. Keep the faith, Jet. The Emperor protects. I like Winter Scale, so let's see. Let's see if it's... Hmm, it's not terrible. It's definitely a Yurit-style weapon, but yeah, it's, it's worse than what she currently has. Uh... I am weary and wish to return to my chambers. There we go. <clears throat> there may have been more there I could chat to, more lore. Oh, oh look, what a surprise. Uh, okay, you didn't have to attack him. The same man you saw among your guests is waiting for you in your chambers with a look for someone who is uh, surprised to be there. He casts a cold, assessing gaze over you from top to bottom. No one, save Theodora, has, has ever allowed themselves the liberty of looking at you in such a way. We have matters to discuss, Jet von Valencius.
You think you can barge straight into my chambers? Is that what you think? He smiles without a shred of warmth. I am fully aware of what I am doing. I am outlining our relationship. Need I remind you that the unsleeping eye of the Imperium is watching you even in your bedchamber? And not just an eye, but the, but the Imperium's sensitive hands as well. And in this case, my assistants and I. Master Von Kallax has spent enough time with you. He will vouch for your words. What stands out uh, from your recent accomplishments is the suppression of the rebellion on Janus, the battle against the arch enemy's minions on Kiva Gamma, and of course the unu the unusual interest the Drakari have shown in you. Then that is what we will discuss. The Drakari have an interest in me. You referred to my capital. Yes, yes. The enmity between you is a known fact, but there is another way to look at it. On Vibo 6, you met the Ar Archon of a Mighty Cabal, whose presence seems strange to begin with. You lived, you subsequently encountered a number of her closest henchmen. Yet again, you survived. Your capital fell victim to a nefarious attack. But even this time, their daggers missed your heart. Uh. Such remarkable luck. To be a personal enemy of such an influential Xeno. To have been attacked so many times and yet make it out alive. So remarkable that one is to wonder, am I watching a spectacle? Could all these thrilling massacres be an alibi of sorts, meant to establish you once and for all as the enemy of the Xenos? Yeah, they made more attempts on St. Drusus' life than mine. He lets out a chuckle. Aha, so you already think you're cut from the same cloth of St. Drusus, do you? Ambitious? I'll make note of it. And what do you want to know about Janus? The reasoning beside your decision to let the Xenos, the enemies of humanity, live and act on the planet that belongs to you. And more than that, you let them run the world itself from the shadows. Do you think it a worthy fate for your fellow human beings to live in the thralls of clutching Xenos? Do you truly believe that the Xenos will offer, offer honour whatever deal they made? I'm ruling it. They're just advisors. Given that their agent now accompanies you as a member of your retinue, might I wonder, has House von Valencius renounced service to the Imperium? Oh? Um. Authorized data the bridge cogitator. Oh. Okay. I think something else just interrupted. You spent uh, first several hours of your morning listening to Five Fangtora's lengthy report on trade. Uh, Clementia will resume. Uh, thank you for your report. Uh, high factorum. Your work is appreciated both by everyone here and the Adeptus Administratum. Your ladyship, we are almost done here. We just need to go over the final points on today's agenda. Uh, uh, continue. Lord Captain, news of particular import came from the House Intel Intelligence were. Network. Lord Kalkazar is rumoured to be planning a visit to Footfall. A number of Imperial Navy ships were commandeered by Lord Kalkazar, and they are also gathering at Footfall. Furthermore, we have received reports claiming that secret messages were delivered to the capital words of House Chorda and Winterscale. It is possible the Lord Inquisitor's calls to arms may uh, smother the conflict that is brewing between the two dynasties. Uh, okay. We are seeing increasing number of skirmishes between their ships in neutral systems. I do not doubt that her ladyship Chorda will attempt to sway the Lord Inquisitor to her side. Okay, so there's a fight going to happen between the two things. It's especially since Lordship Winterscale's luck seems to be running out. Riots have broken out on several of his worlds, yet he has shown no intention of quelling them. Instead, the rogue trader inflicted brutal punishment upon his oldest colonies. Versunia uh, Secundus, 
based on allegations of treasonous sentiments. Strangely, our agents were unable to find any proof of sedition amongst the populace. As soon as we learn anything uh, new of the situation, you'll be the first to know. Lastly, your pet Zenos, Yurette, I believe, seeks an audience with you. She had the audacity to devile the rogue trader's palace with her profane presence and refuses to leave until you've spoken with her. Uh, I would presume to be able to read the emotions of Zeno. Oh, okay. And with that, please allow me and Master Darak to take our leave. Perhaps the last request will serve as a welcome distractor. Okay, well, what happened with the Inquisitor? Something weird happened there. Um, hang on. Chance the words around bought for traveling developers regarding footfall. Okay, so. Okay, so I can hopefully do that. Oh, I failed that quest. Okay, I, I tried to work out how to do that, but yeah. It does feel like something's... I'm, I'm going to quick save, and then I'm going to load the previous one and just, just try and flick through that again, guys, just to see what happens, because... It felt like something didn't happen right. It felt like I somehow managed to miss something. Um... It felt like a bug, so I may well come back and report it later, but we'll see. Oh god, how much do I have to still go through? Okay, so this is back into the palace. We'll 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 blitz through the chats with the um with the other rogue traders, and then we'll head back and blitz through that. Just see, because it, it felt like it, it it just cut me off for no apparent reason. Bump. Okay, bump, 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 bump. Thank you for a gift. I'll take my leave. And let's save here. I'm just intrigued because it just felt like it missed something. So we'll do the Janus one first, just to see. Well, I'll do the other, the Kiva Gamma one first, and then we'll d do the Janus one. Time to sleep! Uh, Kiva Gamma. Uh, places touched by chaos must be purged with fire and come into oblivion. Kiva Gamma should have been bombed to dust. Uh, my protector is complex because of someone's marrow. Yeah, the protector is a living body. You have left a splinter that might eventually fester. Consider the scale of the amputations. So he should, thinks I should have just destroyed the entire planet. I hope you realise that we're talking about more than the fate of some colony. I care not for a single planet, however profitable or unpopulous, but should corruption raise its head on Kiva Gamma and try to spread, I will burn it away. You will be guilty of criminal- I do not like him. Uh, Janus, there we go, bump. Given the, the agent accomplishments. 
and again it ends. So... Okay, it feels like something's bugged there, because it feels like it's not ending it properly. So yeah, I failed something by not decrypting that, but I tried to. Continue. Okay. So Yurette wants to have a chat with me. Sorry about that little diversion, but I wanted to work out what, what was going on. Where is Yurette? Ah, there we go. Elentak, at last you have left your out ornate cage. For many a turn I have sought to meet with you. Yet your servant. So, ah, so basically there's been a, a time jump. One who is like a silver-haired Abelard, but twice as young, has no favour for requests of a child of a Saurian. Take me to a place where the hearing others will not steal the words intended for you. Okay, so, private audience. While you were mending the wounds of this world left behind by the Twisted One's attack, I was able to discover... No, not Kurdorak's face. Fate. Merely traces of it. As Murian found sanctuary under the under the boughs of Lilithan's forest, so did my other kin find refuge in a system known as Atlas Reach. We must make a journey there with haste, before the new before new dangers destroy the witnesses who can show me the way to the lost Kurdak, whose fate remains shrouded by mystery. So, okay, it's finding a lost. Yeah, that's something I want to pursue quickly. For knowledge is for soul thread that may lead me to the true felon attack. I ask that your metal winged ship take me along the thread before it tears. Um. Yeah, give me the coordinates. You will? Thank you, Ellen Tack. The path, if the path indeed takes me to the truth, I will be in your debt. Okay, that's an easy one then. Right. So, I've got a couple of things I want to do, need to do before I leave here. Uh, I'm not going to do with House Orcello just yet. I will come back and deal with that next time. I'm going to deal with the seals now for Jay. So, we'll go back to the ship and then we'll deal with the seals. Uh, and then we will come back and deal with House Orcello. But that'll have to be next time because I know that one's going to take a little bit of time. I hate leaving this planet. Ooh, I'll have to do the maths on that. Oh, what? Uh, what? I might not be doing anything else this session, because it appears to be locked, bugged. I missed something? Maybe we're dealing with Jay next time. Or maybe I'll be stuck here.
It's just somebody I still need to speak to, basically. Okay, I guess we're gonna look at all of this next time. Um, I'm a little concerned. I'm a bit. I'm, I'm stuck here now. I'm a little concerned something's bugged, but we'll find out. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru. Brandon, Space Ace 475, Oding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers on.